Hello, I'm Simon, the CEO and co-founder of Edun Technologies. And today I want to talk about how the Edun Guardian can enrich playtesting and game development by bringing brain information seamlessly into the environment of game developers, playtesters, and at the end of the day, of course, the gamer themselves. Here at Edun Technologies, we're really excited about the idea of capturing information in the brain and making it accessible in game environments and extended realities. With the Edun Guardian, you can capture objective, moment-to-moment -moment brain information during a gameplay or a playtesting experience. This, for example, allows access to cognitive information like concentration or engagement or frustration. And it allows for the possibility to address these findings in the game development process or potentially even in creating adaptive games. So the notion of taking information about a frustration level or an engagement level and adapting the game in real time is something we're really excited about. Think about a player that might be a bit bored with the current stage of the game he or she is at. You could introduce an exciting challenge to make the gameplay more motivating. Or if you would detect that a gamer gets increasingly frustrated because the, the game might be a bit too difficult for them, you could adapt that uh, difficulty level in real time and make the whole process more immersive. For 2024, I'm very confident that we will see more and more real-time EEG or brainwave recording in the game environment. Because beyond playtesting and adaptive gaming, we see more and more digital therapeutics use cases where you could use brain information, concentration levels, stress levels, different metrics that you could track from EEG, and they're being used in therapeutic environments and, and gamification of therapies that might otherwise be less engaging. And also the FDA and other regulatory bodies have detected this as an opportunity to give an alternative to uh, more established therapies, for example, for ADHD. And with some of the researchers and also companies we are talking with and working with, we see that as a highly scalable and at the end of the day, just amazing use case of leveraging EEG in gaming environments.